comes the axe. Prove yourself. The nice as Ninja has last hits, and now. Undershock just carries on moving himself forward. There's gonna be the shackles of Affin Ninja. Maybe able to pick up a kill, but even if he can't pick up the creeps. Oh, the salve saves his life. Slayer wants to carry on going, picks up the first blood with the brain. He does have the heals now with the major's attendance. What's Bango with this haste rune as well? Doesn't have the nightmare up. It's just gonna be the brain stop. What is he? Snowball's gonna come through. Is there gonna be anything to stop this with the ice shards? No, there's not. And an Alpha Ninja is on his own, so the right click's coming out. Maybe taken down, just holding the kill. Undershock does pick that one up. Just pops the Firefly to carry on chasing Slayer. What's he gonna be able to do here? Going for the TP. Anything to cancel this man. Trying to get the ridge. It's gonna be Kinga that picked it up after a. It does leave Palantimos. Bottom tower. Open. Where does Sun King rotate off to? He's gonna go onto the top lane looking for a kill. There's gonna be the epicenter being channeled and blazing now. Does go down. So it gets the return kill, but I think he's gonna be no man's land. To get himself away as the Viper Strike comes through as well. This looks like it's gonna be a dead Shadow Shaman. Undershock throws out the last right. So now Undershock having free lane going towards Dyer's that dragon lance up on the top Sounds plane good. though kuman coming in there's gonna be an epicenter blizzy picked up come out onto the bat rider but there is three heroes four if afro ninja wants to rotate down there's gonna be a walrus punch firefly though trying to keep him safe it's not gonna be enough you can try and melt his way through spikes to the face but he's got a rotation slayers though the phantom one slows him down fiend's grip so the sandstorm not gonna be in time shadow fiend tries to get himself in but the kill comes out, Slayer picks it up, and now a snowball chasing down the fiery, fiery demon. Walrus Punch comes out, there's gonna be the ice shards as well, and they should be able to pick up that kill. No, everybody's left the walrus, go back in! There's Blazy now, kill secures. So, it's gonna be there with the ice shards, man, it could be in a little bit of trouble. The Walrus Punch comes out once again, snowball stuns him up, right clicks. It's gonna be dropping the snakes, why did it have to be snakes, but... Right click as well coming out from Kuman. Are they going to be able to do anything as these four heroes converging on the Enchantress? The raise is going to be nowhere near. Does that mana void? The PL. It's not too bad. Right. Slayer's going to come in. He does have the Fiend's Group. Going to be able to find it onto the AM as well. But now cancelled off. Maiden puts himself in harm's way. The Walrus Punch comes out. Kuman brain saps. Slayer picks up the kill. And now back lines. Undershock's going to be able to take the second. Lizzy. It is looking like it's going to be the Road of Atos coming out with the Enchantress. In fact, I think that is it coming out on the Courier now. Yep, recipe is the. Cast the please. Double blink as the Requiem comes through, but the Snowball just delays. May even save his life. Is he going to be able to blink himself away now? The right clicks the Fiend's Grip coming out onto the Sand King. Shackles onto Blizzy, but Afterlife, is he going to be able to get himself away? Slayer picks it up with the Life Drain. I shot safely. PL's going to try and cut him off. In fact, Kuman blinked himself into PL. The right clicks the Diffusal Blade to slow him down as well. And now the Snowball. This could be, will be a dead anti-mage. Well, what can you say? As Blizzy in the mid lane takes down King R. The team is now coming to the shrines. Rod of Atos, it looks like Zayok may stay behind. Yeah, he's going to be the sacrificial. Oh, blinks himself down, but Kuman still chases. Sergio is going to be able to run himself away. Are fortified. Zyke says, you, st you go, I stay. A little bit too short. Slayer's rotating in. Is there going to be a Fiend's Group? It is, and the Snowball's going to follow up now as well. So, Walrus Punch! The Shock does secure that kill. So just to make sure the dagger can't tick. Right click's coming through, but it looks like Plantimus is going to be spun up in the air. Zayak, the chase comes down, and the big ultimate comes out from Afro Ninja. Kuman picks up the kill onto Zayak. Plantimus is going to be able to try and run himself away. He does have that Reaver, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to be the Yules up into the earth. Forced after way, though. Now Ice Shards is going to be a Walrus Punch. Afro Ninja could be in a bit of trouble. Backlines, Epicenter is going to be able to take down two. Snowball's coming out. Afro Ninja is going to be able to get himself away. Ernie does pop like a balloon though. Zaya could be in a lot of trouble underneath this tier 2 tower. The right clicks on the shock, trying to do whatever he can. But Plintamos is still down for the next two seconds. So it's only going to be on the shock on his own. No. <laughs> Run of Atos instantly comes out. Do they have anything for this? Borrow Strike, Ice Shards. Snowball going to be cancelling a TP. And Blizzy. Borrow Strike just comes through. I think Palintimus, though, does still have the Aegis. He does. Going to be dragged back. Oh, Undershock's going to be dragged back now as well. But 
He just fall stops himself away, gets himself out safely. No, from behind, it's gonna be a big mana void. It's Bane does full Palentimos, gonna be taken down, but it's gonna be everything being popped. Epicenter, the snowball does come through, and now Palentimos comes back with the Aegis. The gem has been dropped, it's on the deck. Did Palentimos pick that up? I don't think he did. Trying to right click down, but the TP away from the sinking is gonna be able to. Is he gonna be able to save his life as it looks like they do take down Madden? And now Blizzy trying to do what he can on the edge of this fight. Zag's gonna be there as well. The Uncharged Jewel sets her up into the air. And they're able to take down Palimsmos. And the chase is on now for Zyx. Snowball away. The Boros comes through with the Ice Shards, but he's trapped himself in. As San King says, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped. Down Afro Ninja, the right clicks, but the raises are going to be able to be used as Afro Ninja. Looks like he's trying to right click underwater. Just buys back. Yeah, the buyback comes in to try and defend this bottom lane of Rax. They are going to be able to, should be able to. Come on, Blizzy, how long does it take to die? Finally, pick up the kill onto the Chantress. And this is gonna be three heroes so far. It's gonna be a big leap lasso in onto the bane. Do they have enough to take him down? They do, as the snakes have been dropped as well. Meon back line. So there's gonna be a BKB pop, so the Requiem of Souls not gonna be effective onto Wondershock. He's trying to go for this point. He's gonna take down Manum, but Kuma takes down Blizzy. Blizzy buys back into the Get himself in the snowball, but the snakes are they gonna be able to take down the melee racks or are they gonna be found up just in time? Looks like it might just be enough. Now the epicenter do come through, there was a fact, want to go back in, it was a buyback from the Enchantress, going to be going down, the chase is on for Undershock, right clicks, four stabs himself away, Kuman wants to carry on going, Zai going to be taken down by Alpha Ninja, and it's going to be three kills, and it looks...